Should I play it? That's what we're going to introduce. Sit talk about camping, how it's fun. I was ready just to jump straight into it. We've got to introduce. This is the uh, extended cut of Neville and I's 2020 Montana Spring Black Bear Hunt. This has been a, uh, a three year We are the worst truck campers. We're getting better, though. We're getting better. Getting better. Um, yeah, bear hunting's super fun, though, because you get out, just experiment fun things in the spring. Nothing else to do. So, I might as well test some gear, test some glassing techniques. Just have fun. Get out there and kick off the dust and just hunt again. So, the best way to do that is pick up spring bear tags. So, once you watch the film, you obviously notice we have a ton of ticks ticks all over us this tick was this was the first day we're out first first probably a couple minutes 10 minutes into the hike we got ticks already and the crazy thing is too so i guess you know i'll say oh you need to have some spray but we do have permethrin however the hell you pronounce that watch out though with that spray it can stain your clothes it'll stain your clothes don't spray it too tight but we actually had like two full cans we used on this hunt every time we would leave to go hunting we would spray off our gator spray off our boots spray off our other clothes and we still have hundreds of ticks on us i don't think it works i don't think it works either two years ago when we for some reason we took a floorless shelter that was dumb the worst idea ever and i remember i sprained like a ring around my sleeping pad <laughs> and i wake up in the middle of the night and my sleeping pad's completely flat because of that Just it's such a, like a, a harsh or something? Yeah, yeah. harsh chemical like messed up the glue and was leaking air green grass green grass ticks ticks Isolation. Yeah, it's just a stump. Here. So, yeah, we saw this and instantly, I can't remember who first glassed it. I think it, you did. I'm pretty sure you glassed it up. I'm like, oh, I got a bear, I got a bear. But as you can see right here, it's right in the middle of the screen. It's a stump that literally looks like the exact profile of a bear the face, the neck, the head. And this was, a, this was a slam dunk close distance to like, oh my gosh, we're going to slay a bear on the first day. That stump is a straight bear stump. It's a bear stump. Heck, maybe it's a steel target. Oh, how'd that tree even break off like that? Why is it the yeah. head part? The what is, is that? Perfectly. Dang it. This is why I like bear hunting. A lot of the areas I've picked like out, breakfast I know, right? You always have good breakfast. A lot of the areas I've picked out, it just makes sense to focus in on closed logging roads. Let's Use go the, for a hike. Use the quads, guys. It always seems like when you uh, get to a spot, you always have a feeling. Like you know a good bear spot when you see it. Mm -hmm. Like this, it had everything. We already said it had the isolation because of a closed logging road. There's a gateway down below, so no one could drive up any vehicles. And the logging road was pretty beat up. So, like, even if you want to take a bike up here, like a pedal bike, yeah. it would have been pretty brutal. Yeah. But it's like it had everything. It had big strips of timber with openings, and those openings were green. You ever heard the song, What Does the Fox Say? Yep. What does the bear say? The bear says, I'm just going to sit in the dang timber all day because these two hunters are peeping on us. I really wish I had something funnier to say when you asked me that question. Like, I should have started singing to you. <laughs> I don't know what the bear says besides... I don't think I've ever heard a bear noise. Maybe heard him, like, moaning and groaning, but... Yeah. <laughs> right below... I don't know how you bears. spotted this bear. Could you pick this bear up and you pick him up with your 10s? Yeah, I had 10 by 42s on. And, and the eight. sun is setting, as you can see here, so the light's really harsh. And I don't know what it was, two, <laughs> two plus miles away? Yeah, it was a bomb shot. Uh, it's a tree? Yeah. We got two bears. About as far as the eye can see. Straight that way. Most likely that was like a first year old cub with it. Yeah. But it looked like it. Because it, it was definitely bigger than a cub. Yeah, it was not, a, not this year. Probably that like a, year, year cub. a yearling. Yeah. See, right here I thought, wow. <laughs> and this is all the way in the right corner of the screen, all the way up on the top is where that bear is, right where that scope's pointed. This is the beginning of the trip. We've already seen bears. I was thinking, here we go. It's going to be like the year before we get one first day. <laughs> we can always find them early. Yeah, it's 8.55. We don't got enough time. So that's Our truck camping game is slowly but surely getting better and better every year. We had We were eating good. 
Every night, every morning. Every morning, I just love breakfast in the mountains. <laughs> Battle for Galactica. Boys, the boys and the brats and the bears. I think a lot of people don't know that Brady is probably one of the biggest sleepers. I know, that guy can sleep forever. Somehow I had a tick in my tent coming up here. Like, ticks are part of the thing when you're spring bear hunting, he's gotta deal with it, but. I think next year, we, or this year, we should shave our heads. It was a stupid hike. We did the exact wrong The hike route. was terrible. It was so hot and we went straight up in the jungle. I mean, it looks like, we made it look like we got up there in about 10 yeah. minutes. Yeah, like I think the next scene here, your hair looks like you just got out of the shower. Oh yeah, I'm just drenched. Right, right there, you're just soaked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a pretty good hike in here. We got to where the bear was at last night. I might have to take my gun out and see if I can even get my pipe out that high. So might, might have to use your pipe. Yeah, this, explain this situation, because it's kind of hard to tell. What's going on. From the video. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the landscape and what we're dealing with, because it was, we were very close to the side that we saw the bear on, mm -hmm. and, and we, that hillside was straight up. Straight up, and so we tried to get as close as we could, and the problem was all those trees too, but so. When I was sitting there, I started realizing like, hey, if the bear comes out where we thought it was the night before, it's gonna be a really straight up shot. And I only have a, what, seven to 10 inch bipod. So that's why I asked you and you pointed back to your bipod. Like we'd already determined ahead of time, I'll take the first shot in the bear because the year before you killed and I didn't kill. So we got that out of the way. And so I was like, hey, I wanna borrow your bipod since your bipod goes crazy high. And I wanted to do a bunch of situations where I was laying down with the bipod fully extended. And as I noticed, like even with it fully extended, I didn't feel comfortable because it had a little bit of wobble. But that's why it's nice. Like I took that bipod, put it on my gun before I even saw any of the bear and just practice for a little bit. Right. Cause I don't know how to use it. Every time I touch your bipod, I break it. Yeah. Brady's right. broken my bipod every single time. Yeah, Probably just, three times. There's a little pull cord on your bipod. I always yank it and break the string. Cause if we, if you wouldn't have like laid down on your gun and where we thought the bear was going to come out and like practice and then beforehand, when it came out, beforehand been... you would have been, would have been screwed because yeah. you wouldn't have been able to get that angle yep. up. And then I even tried taking the backpack. I was trying to like set my backpack up straight and put my gun on it, but I just never felt comfortable. If a bear got out right there, you would have probably just had to move around and wait for the bear maybe to come down closer because it would have been a tough shot. So I was like, hey, I'm just gonna go walk down the logging a little bit, go check out some other stuff. And it, I don't even think I was gone a couple of minutes and all of a sudden I picked up a giant black object. What up, baby? Looks like a bear. That's, yeah. That's crazy too. <laughs> Literally, I was barely gone, and, and someone picked up a bear that was like down below us. So it's a different bear than we saw the night before. We're all prepared. It was one of those things. We're looking over here, all prepared for it to come out over here. And all of a sudden, this bear is way further down the ridge than what we thought it was going to be. And what really sucked, we had a yard sale going on right here. We were oh, running yeah. so funny in this part. <laughs> yeah. We're like tiptoe running. The problem with this closed logging road, it's been closed for a long, long time, and a bunch of regrowth trees had popped up in the area. And so there was not a single area that we could shoot from. It had to have been 10 minutes we were running around on this yeah. road. And also just trying to find a clear lane to shoot this bear. So right here too, you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking a bunch of these branches and breaking them, trying to clear a little lane, hoping that that's the, the right branch I need to break so we can, uh, you know, I can make a shot. The bear's right across on the ridge. I'm worried the whole time that the bear's just gonna go up and over the ridge and we lose him for good. Like he was in a perfect spot, but we just couldn't find a dang shooting lane. I feel so comfortable right there. I got so much time to like 
you know, it was hectic, but I also had time to sit there and catch my breath and, you know, figure out that, okay, I have to make the shot right now. I'm going to make it count. And had that backpack as my rear supports, my rifle is fully stable. Had the bipod super low to the ground. And I'm just always, I'm always comfortable when I get behind a gun. I'd love, I love sitting behind a gun. That was a damn fiasco, wasn't it? That was a roller coaster ride. I couldn't get your bipod low enough. I should have had my bipod. I had this tripod up, down, around. Set up on them. branches. Oh. Yeah, he got He would just run on. He just went over on that other side. Oh, oh shit! Man. There's another bear in right here. There's another bear. What are the odds? What are the odds? I just remember I looked across there and I was like, oh my god, there's another bear right there. Came out of nowhere too. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it came from underneath. Underneath, like, like it's been down below the whole. I wonder time if that shot maybe spooked it. Spooked a little bit. But the weird thing is, like you'll see in a second, like the bear's just feeding. Yeah, he's just, just walking along. So then again, it's like you don't have your rifle. I have to grab my rifle right now, put another round in for you, because I have to single feed it. Seven and a half. Six and again, now we have to go through the same situation of find a clear shooting line for you and me to see it. The little branch, and that's why I was trying to move over to get around it. I wonder if our original glassing spot, you could have shot from there. I know. Like if we just grabbed our shit, ran all the way over there. Mm. I think you just sat behind this tree. Forever. Okay. And then it's back to moving around, trying to figure out if we can get a clear shot. We're running up the road again. All the chaos we had earlier, we had to repeat it. <laughs> we sat there for a full hour, hour and a half maybe, hoping that bear would come out somewhat. We hadn't walked to my bear yet. We just figured we have to give it time. And that whole side, it's that open. hillside was pretty open. I don't know where that bear went. I think it, I think it got in a little strip of trees, and I think it might have went down because yeah. down was more trees. If it kept going up, it was gonna get in the clear, and we could see it. Plus, there was water down there. There was water down there, and it was really green. That bear went 20 yards, piled up. I'm surprised he even ran. I know. This is the second bear now I've taken in Montana and going to this hunt, all I wanted was a black color phase bear because I killed the nice cinnamon bear a couple years ago. Any bear is really a, an awesome bear and I'm super stoked. You know, black boar, dark, dark, you know, dark color and everything and just a super, super cool experience to, to share with Neville. I remember trying to cut it up in that spot was a real sad bitch. spot is so freaking steep right there. It does not look like it. It is straight up. I remember we got pretty lucky on uh, getting down that because mm -hmm. there was no trail, nothing. We're just like, I think if we go straight, straight down, we should be right down by the truck. Mm -hmm. It's probably an easier hike going yeah, we should have went out than it was uh -huh. going up. It's brutal. It's my favorite part of the trip, Neville. Oh, successful <laughs> tailgate set. Oh, That's such a great feeling, dropping back back up on a tailgate. I was just wanting a bush light. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just sitting there waiting. Bear hides are heavy. <clears throat> that was bear meat too. Oh. Would you look at that? We got this really cool friend, uh, Randall. We call him Big Bear Guy. He's so a, he's a long bear guy. To reference, to reference Randall's name, not his real name, Randall, but the long bear guy, that was from when I shot my bear, was that two years ago? Your 2019 yeah. bear? Yeah. In that video, if you go back and watch it, as we're laying out my rug, Randall was making some joke, and I was like, Randall, you're the big, you're the long bear guy. <laughs> and it's so fun to just talk bears with him, come back there and have fun here for a little bit. Shout out to you, Randall. It's a little warm right now compared to the previous three or four days. I'm saying it's probably like a lot green popping. I had a little rain in the morning. I was hoping it was going to stay. And I had a big chew in. My mom's not going to be happy about that one. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't watch this, mom. Nope. Bear hunting. They seem to get hot pretty easily. That was when we had the yellow curry. Yeah, let's. So those just came out, I think, last year. Yeah. Yellow curry is the bomb.com. Mountain House yellow curry is straight fire. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend it. 
We're, we were just talking how we're good truck campers. Here we are eating, <laughs> Here we are eating mountain houses. <laughs> oh, shoot. I gotta find some bears. Hammocks, man. The game changer in the middle of the Hammocks day. are great. Wake up in the morning to sit in a hammock. We're reading, chilling. Cover as much ground as we can and try to glass new country. Quick it go. was 100 degrees hiking up there. We're Sun. drenched. So hot. Just sweating. We got snow at the very top. We got dark. And then we kind of got in here and towards the evening got that shade and it was freezing. A lot of good stuff to glass, so now we just need a bear to come walking out. Not sure what to think. I know it was a hot one getting up here. I know it's freezing. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> There's snow up there. Mm. Bears like snow, don't they? Up there's like honey. <laughs> I'm trying to find us a honey bear. <laughs> <laughs> they do like honey, I bet. I think they really do. It turned hot towards the end of the week. And it's one of those things I always think of, if I'm hot and I don't want to move, then most likely bears are thinking the same exact thing and they're not going to want to move. Camp deer. Oh, camp deer. So what's funny about deer in the spring you end up having to uh, go to the bathroom and they come and eat up all that sodium. <laughs> you look so pissed looking at this deer. <laughs> You're like, this deer is right in our camp. I'm just excited. It's a mule deer. I love mule deer. You think there'd be another bear in this? Decided to navigate some, some road systems here and trying to get way back in. We must have ran out of bread on this. Yeah, this we we're down. Like, again, horrible truck campers. But these are delicious. Those, whatever they're called. Uh, this is a this is a truck camping hack here. What is that? We got turkey and wrapped pickles. Pickles. And they hike back up. But in the meantime, we're gonna have a little pickle and ham. I feel really really good about this spot. It's further up the drainage than we've ever been before. New country. Still got dark timber, we got green grass. It was so hot this day. Yeah, so we're just chasing shade. Oh, There's the tick rock. At one point, I think we had like 15 or 20 ticks on there. And then the other ticks would come up and start grabbing them and pulling them away. I'm like, oh, these guys start killing these guys. See him right there? It's like right in the middle, right in the middle of the green right now. Oh, yep, I got him. This bear haunts me still. Yeah. It's a good bear. We saw that bear for a flash. And he was walking the complete opposite direction to us. And then we dove on the maps and started looking at it, and behind there was just straight dark timber. Yeah, because we were thinking about taking a chase after it. Mm -hmm. But I think we had probably, what, three or four hours left? Yeah, like absolutely. Was, and we thought this was a good spot. Yeah. We thought, all right. It is gonna this come is back. where we've seen all of our bears. There's got to be more bears here. Let's not go chasing this one off and the chances of shooting it being slim, kind of a Hill Mary kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish we just would have just chased after we it. Should've. Just said, we should have just said screw it. Yeah. Why the hell do we have a machete? I don't know. I always had a machete when I lived in uh, Montana when I was doing random cryo. <laughs> See my truck floating around. And while truck camping, you always have to have salami cheese crackers. Last day, good luck. Anytime the weather turns on you like that, when it's super hot, I think it always weighs on your mind a little bit because one, it just makes it, makes it hard to be out all the time in these open logging roads. You're trying to find any sort of shade. You almost start hunting for shade. Oh, geez. Got a tick on me have a lighter ready to go. I you got it. You have to burn them. You have to burn them. You always keep a lighter in your pocket for ticks. Otherwise, you flick them off, they're going to come back. Yeah, that's what I always feel like. You pull them off and just lay them on the ground and they'll just crawl right back on you. You can't crush them. You don't die. He burns them. <laughs> got him. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you can't control when hunting, especially in the spring. And sometimes this is the year we double up. This is going to be the year we and double up. The next couple weeks, we're heading back. We're heading back, and we're going to shoot two this time around. we got to do it. I mean, there's no reason not to. We've always shot one. We, <laughs> always, we always seem to get one in, like, the first couple days, and we're always like, all right. Yeah. 
Bear hunting's easy, man. <laughs> and then that weather changes and just totally Fs us. I'm excited. I love this. I love bear hunting. I hope we'll be able to watch this film again. Just relive all the things we did wrong, did right. Learn from it. That's all you can ever do. Right. Yeah, springtime. Not a lot else going on. Mm -hmm. Might as well go bear hunting. We're out. <laughs>